Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 247. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 246 to 251. Hey, I'm redoing this trick, 247, because Leroy from YouTube gave us a better way to do this. Now, let's look at the setup. Uh, we had some numbers, and we wanted leading zero. So, in this case, it, we didn't need a leading zero, but here we needed a, one leading zero. Here we needed two. Let's look at the formula that I did. The heart of it is the repeat. We wanted to repeat a zero, and how many times? Well, we said, what is the maximum of this length? So we look through all of these, and the maximum length is five. And so we'll subtract five up here and get zero. But look at this. This uh, max len here looks here and gets a 5, but then subtra subtracts from it this. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and that's how many zeros to repeat. And then we put it before this with concatenation. Now, I went ahead and said had a true-false check, but we don't really need it. Because even for this one, watch what happens. Repeat 0 how many times? Well, it would be 5 minus 5 is 0. So you don't need all of this right here. Let's go ahead and just scoop this right out here. Or actually, we could just do it without it. We say equals repeat. And what do we want to repeat? In quotes, 0. And how many times do we want to repeat it? Well, we have to do our max and len. Now, what makes this as an array here, we're going to have to enter it with Control Shift Enter, is because we want to look through all of these to create an array of lengths and then take the max of it. So I'm going to close parentheses, close parentheses. <coughs> That's the number. And then we subtract from it the length of one cell to my left. Now, I forgot to actually uh, lock these, F4, F4. That way it's locked all the way down. And comma or close parentheses there. That's how many times we will repeat it. Close parentheses and then ampersand on this original value here. Control Shift Enter and then double click and send it down. And that will do the trick. Much better formula than uh, the original one I did. Hey, thanks, Leroy. See you next trick.